Hey, but now we gotta just bring that new energy, that new energy up. You know, see the smile. So those who know me, my name is Michael Stevens. I think everyone here does know me though. But I don't, yeah, you can make me tonight though. Yeah, my name is Michael Stevens. I've been a coach for for two years, and uh, man, I love these products. My background is boxing. Got in, um, I was a heavyweight uh, contender on a national level, and just got some injuries. Had to stop that. And uh, man, <coughs> gained about thirty pounds. Got on Herbalife Nutrition, twenty four pounds down in eight weeks, and then man, lost about seven percent body fat. It was just incredible. I felt amazing. And ever since then, just like you guys, I can't stop. I can't shut up about it. Got to keep running my mouth, telling everybody. Got my whole family healthy, friends, and you know what? I'm not going to stop until everyone's healthy. You know, at least everyone I touch is healthy. You know, it, was, it might as well leave, a, leave people better than you when you found them. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the products that I like to use. You know, I like to start everybody off on the white products, which is our weight management. Because you know what, it's good nutrition and it's something everyone's body needs. A lot of us athletes, we don't get enough protein, we're like deficient in certain things, and so we don't realize that just because it's just weight management, it doesn't mean your body's not going to respond powerfully from it. So what I like to start people off is I put them on the Formula One, okay, so that's a the nutritional shake mix, all right? It's a, it's pretty, it's a, it's a meal replacement. Gives you 100% of your recommended daily allowance of all your <laughs> vitamins and your minerals. Everything your body needs in one meal is right there. And it's also, it's a, it's a plant protein. It's a soy isolate. So a lot of you are like, man, well, it's soy protein. I'm going to get estrogen. No, it's a soy isolate, which means you got soy protein. They isolate the protein out of the soy and just take the protein alone out of the soy. So that's what you get. And the cool thing about it is since it's a plant protein, it breaks down the slowest in your body. So it takes the longest to, so it basically keeps you full longer because, you know, we're made, we're animals in this plant. So, you know, it doesn't break down like whey does or casein in our, in our system. So I like to put them on a the, the nutritional shake mix. I always put people on two shakes a day, all right, two shakes a day. But it starts out, so you're going to have your breakfast, your shake with breakfast. And then I like to put people on tabs. So which is basically, when I say tablets, there's Formula 1 and there's Formula 2, which is a multivitamin. has all your vitamins and minerals and it's great for like good bone functions. you got joint problems. All those kind of things. It's just it completes every meal. You take it three times a day, and then what's called cell activator. That's called formula three. So basically, in our body, you got these little things called villi, and they're in our small intestine, like little finger thing. You guys ever eat chitlins or tripe or something? You, you see those slices in there. You're like, what is that little? What are those finger things in there? Well, those finger things <coughs> they grab our food in our small intestines, and those are the things that grab our food, and that's how we get our the macronutrients absorbed into our body. And what happens is, you know, we eat a lot of junk, and it's over time wear and tear. We get these things in our body that just destroy those, they, they damage those fingers. When those fingers are damaged, we can't get all the nutrients out of our food. So even when we eat good food, we're not getting everything we could get out of that food. So what Cell Activator does actually repairs these little villi right here, so you can get more out of your food. It's pretty amazing. So I put people on the Formula 1, okay, two shakes a day, the Formula 2, which is called uh, multivitamin, and the Formula 3 Cell Activator. You take the tabs, uh, you take them three times a day. And then I also put people on what's called protein drink mix. And protein drink mix is what I use in combination with the Formula One Healthy Meal Shake. And the reason why is because a lot of us, we need a certain amount of protein. You know, if we're in like maybe Japan, we wouldn't need a Formula, we wouldn't need a protein drink mix, everybody's real tiny. But, but here in the United States, we got some big dudes in here, you know, sometimes. So we, everybody has a certain amount of lean mass in their body, which is their muscle mass. So you gotta make sure that you, you get at least minimum one gram of protein per pound of lean muscle. <coughs> because that's what's going to be hugely responsible for your metabolism to really burn off and just burn that fat up. So, you know, so the protein is a way to get a little extra uh, protein into your body. So throughout the day with your five meals or possibly six meals, you're going to be able to get enough protein to maintain the muscle you have. And that's just going to be for weight management and also the, 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 the herbal tea concentrate, guys. I love this. This is the, the one enhancer that I do offer right off the bat with, uh, with my first meal plan because... Well, for one thing, it's, a, it's another way for people to drink water because I want people to drink water and it's another excuse for them to get some water in them. But this stuff's amazing because when you take this tea, you burn 80 calories a serving. And all in one serving is just a half a teaspoon. And it's just whole leaf green tea is all it is, whole leaf green tea. But it's super high in what are called antioxidants. And antioxidants, they just simply they protect our body from these things called free radicals. Yeah. Oh, just five. Oh, just five minutes. Yeah, from free radicals. And what these, and these free radicals, they break our body down, and this prevents our body from getting sick because we get worn down, we get busted up every day by all kinds of little cosmic uh, meteoroids, you know, whatever, destroying our system, and that's what I put people on. So I'm actually going to have uh, another awesome coach of mine named 
Pat come up here. He's going to just talk about what he puts starts his, his clients on, and he's going to give you his insights. So clap it up for Pat. Woo! I'm going to sit down. I feel more comfortable. <laughs> Uh, cool. All right, so when we go to talk about products, um, we're going to talk about weight loss, right? At the end of the day, we all believe in Herbalife. It all works, right? Yeah. We all know it. Everybody just said, yes, it all works. So nine times out of ten, I always ask people, you know, I get your goals. I see what you want to do. And I'm like, how much can you invest? When people, some people never give you a price. I never shoot out a price first unless I, like, have to. Like, it's the last draw. Like, they'll be like, well, how, how, how much does it cost? I'll be like, I can work with any budget. Well, if you give me a ballpark, I can kind of see. Well, you know, I normally tell people to give me your goals and your budget, and then I can figure it out for you. Oh, well, I don't know. So, I mean, I don't really know a price. Well, you just give me any price that you think, and then I'll customize it for you. And most of them just give me a price. They may say 150 And when they say 150 I'm already thinking in my head, that's a good enough plan. I know for a fact you can lose weight. So from there, you know, we always offer Formula One. Everybody needs Formula One. No matter what, I get them two Formula Ones. If you want to buy one, you might need to just save more money and come back in two weeks. I'm not selling you one Formula One because I know you're going to feel a difference, but you're not going to see a difference. And I asked him that. I said, do you want to see a difference or feel a difference? I want to see a difference. Cool. You need two of these. Can you invest $85 to get two of them? Right? So I'll get them on that. Now, if they say they want to do more, I say, cool. You should add on the protein drinking mix because it keeps you fuller for longer and it helps the shakes taste better. I can talk about how it gives them 24 grams of protein. I can talk about the 21 vitamins and minerals. Most people don't care about that. I know if I wanted to lose weight, I wouldn't care about that personally. I don't. So I tell them exactly. I say, hey, we have a lot of flavors. They taste good. They fill you up. They help you lose weight. That's what they want to hear. And I say the protein drink mix, yeah, it's going to keep you fuller for longer and it makes the shakes taste better. They'll do anything for the shakes to taste better because that's what they need to lose weight. So then I get them on that. And then I'm like, hey... If they're if they're if they can only spend one fifty, I get them these I get them two shakes and one protein drink mix. And then I say, cool. If you can, let's just add on one more product. It'll help enhance it. It'll make it faster for you. And they're like, all right, what's the product? And I say, well, would you like more energy and a burn calories, or do you want to lose belly fat, water weight, and tone up? And like, I want to do both. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I have a product. They're only 20 bucks each. We can add both on. It's not going to kill you. Or I'll just say, yeah, it's, don't even trip. It's only 20 bucks more. So then I'll talk them into basically getting um, cellulose, and I'll talk them into getting tea. And then I'll just be like, cool. That's it. You can check out. Now, if you want to make the tea better, we have aloe, too. You just mix it with the tea. It makes it better. It targets your belly fat, and it just makes everything better. It's one of my favorite products. I always thought of that. It's one of my favorite products. So now they're thinking like, oh, maybe I should get this because it's one of his favorites and he does this. So I basically, I already had them. I want to squeeze in one more product. I basically gave them an option to choose from the two and they said, I'll take both. Now I'm just really selling aloe. So then I squeeze in the aloe and next thing you know, that's basically the main products I get people on. Um, I throw in cell active, like if somebody wants to spend 400 or 300, that's when I throw in like cell activator and multivitamins. Nine times out of 10, is shakes, protein, cellulose, tea, aloe. Um, and I'll let them know if you want to target your belly fat or if they ask me, I add up for less of it. That's very expensive. So I normally bring it up the second time around. Um, so that's for weight loss. Nine times out of 10, that's normally what I give people when they spend like 150, 250, 300. Um, if they want to do 150, if they say 200, then I'll get them two, I'll get them two proteins. I'll get them two proteins and two shakes. It all depends, but nine times out of ten, it's two protein. I mean, two formula ones. No matter what, a protein, a cellulose, tea, and aloe. That's what I normally get people. And I basically, you know, they want to know, well, how do I take it? Well, I'm not gonna really tell you right now. You're not even gonna remember. You just wanna cool. Let me know you check out. You ready to get going? And I'll we we can go. Most people ask. They talk to somebody for 20, 30, 40 minutes, and then at the end they say, when do you want to get started? Oh, I want to get started next month. You just wasted like 40 minutes. That's, no, I never do that. Like, that's planned. As soon as I get on the phone, hey, yeah, what's up with your goals, man? Yeah, I'd love to help you. When are you looking to get started? I want to get started today. Cool. What's your goals? Yeah? Have you tried anything? Do you work out? <coughs> then I get more to, we talk plans. We talk money. So I start, I'm always working towards doing more and more and more instead of us just talking and not getting anywhere. So that's what I do. I work towards making it happen versus just letting it talk, right? 
So that's what I do as far as weight loss. Um, and then once they check out, you get all my time. If you want to talk for 30 minutes after that, that's cool. If you're a client of mine, we can talk. I send you right over the plan. You can check it out. And from there, if you have questions, it's all good. Um, so that's what I do for weight loss. Now, for weight gain, I let people spend more money on weight loss than they do for gaining weight. Because most of the money you're going to be spending it on is food. Really, we're not going to put them right on the 24 line. Honestly, all they really need is, what, shakes and protein? Somebody wants to gain weight, I was like, they got 150, 200. That's cool. That's really what they need. <coughs> So if somebody wants to gain weight with 150, I'll put them on two shakes, protein drink mix, and amino gym to break down the protein. But that's pretty much it. And then from there, majority of the money is going towards food versus weight loss. Majority of it is product. Less of it is on food. So just a, a you know a small difference. Um, and then from there, like if they really work out and I know them, I'll be like, send me a picture of me. And I see like they really get in in the gym. I'll get them on rebuild, you know, because I know that's what they want. Gain muscle mass, lose body fat. So I will offer that. But for most people, I'll be like, we got to get you on 24. We got to slim you out. Then we get you on 24. And I'm going to switch up your nutrition plan. And I'm going to throw in a free workout plan for your other clients. So I also add a lot of value with the products as well. So um, for weight loss, tea, say loss, um, protein drink mix, formula one, aloe. <coughs> weight loss, and then for weight gain, uh, protein drink mix, and uh, formula one. Is what I give people for weight gain. Now, another thing, a quick tip. I know we're supposed to give everybody protein drink mix, but I lost 20 pounds in seven weeks without doing no protein, without doing no tea, and I didn't do aloe. I, I was very judgmental. So the aloe, that just looked like I was judgmental. It would just look like it would be nasty. So I didn't buy it. I didn't taste it. I didn't want to taste it. I was weird. And the tea, I just was like, I don't need tea. And protein drink mix, I just was like, I don't need that. So... From there, I just got Formula One. I was using that and lost 20 pounds in seven weeks. So the product works. If y'all know it works, just get people on it. Like, don't be so technical. That's my outlook. So the next person I'm going to introduce is Joe Goody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, good job, Pat. And Michael Stevens. Okay, so... Um, for me, um, I'm just going to break down a basic meal plan for everybody like on Herbalife because um, I've noticed that a lot of coaches, you know, they come, they're coming from clients, you know, converting into coaches and they're not really knowing exactly, you know, what to put people on and what not. So um, first things first, 30 minutes within waking up, you have a shake. If you have a shake, uh, two scoops of uh, <coughs> meal, one, scoop of, one or two scoops of uh, PDM, have that with your tablet's tea, of course. That's automatic. You need to speed up the metabolism. Um, they call it breakfast for a reason. You're breaking the fast. So that's one thing that um, you have to tell every coach that you sign up that they have to do with their clients, no matter what, right? Two and a half, three hours later, um, their client has to have a snack, protein-based snack. You know, if, if like, I had like a girl that, uh, who just started a program, she sent me to, a picture of two rice cakes. I was like, hell no. You ain't getting results. I was like, what the hell is that? So, um, like, so, oh, sorry. Um, so, uh, I was like, you need some more protein with that. She's like, oh, what can I have with it? I was like, well, you're not going to have the rice cakes because I know you have about 45 pounds to lose and you have a certain amount of time, right? So, what I said is no carbs with that snack. You're just going to have veggies and a protein or something like that. Or if, like, if she doesn't want to eat like meat, it's going to be Greek yogurt Greek yogurt and like 10 almonds. Put that in there, you're good, right? Three hours later, you're going to have either a meal for lunch or a shake, right? You're going to have your shake. Um, a lot of times, I like to put the shake at the end of the day at dinner now um, and the meal uh, with the carb at lunch because they can have that, they can utilize the energy from the carbs because carbs give you energy, right? So if you, if you stack it earlier in the day and they can utilize it, it's better instead of having it later in the day. So um, their meal, uh, if it's like a girl, it's usually three to four ounces of some kind of meat, lean protein, uh, chicken, turkey, uh, like three quarters cup of egg whites, um, three to four ounces for women. Guys, five to six ounces. You know, losing weight, they're a little bigger, they got a little more meat muscle on them. Um, half cup of rice, I do it for girls and guys, and veggies. Veggies, I don't really care that much. I don't put them on carrots um, just because of the sugar, and I don't put them on uh, I don't put them on corn. Corn is not a vegetable. Corn is a grain, 
That's what they make bread with. <coughs> so, uh, you don't want to put them on any corn. Did they say corn? No. All right? Um, and, uh, like, you know, you have them really dialed down, and you have them drink water every, every single time. So three hours after lunch, um, they're, having, they're, no, they're having another snack. You know, some of my clients, I put them on three shakes a day, honestly, because the shakes are only 200 calories. If that, if they're in one scoop, it's like 150 calories, right? So, um, like, that's at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 3.30, they're having another snack. It's protein, right? Sometimes they just do egg whites and some spinach, uh, chicken, whatever, Greek yogurt, whatever it is, cottage cheese, and some nuts. And then three hours later, they have a shake. Before they go to sleep, they're still hungry. They're up until 12 o'clock. 11 o'clock, they're going to have a protein. I always say egg whites. Make four, four egg whites. Crack it, crack it, no yolk, egg whites. Throw some spinach in there if you want to so you can poop a little better. And uh, that's, uh, that's what I do in a, in a typical day. Uh, if they're not doing that, then uh, you know, they're not going to get results. I tell them, close the cancers, don't start until they're ready to listen to me. So, uh, and they have to drink water, 8 ounces of water, 8 to 12 ounces of water every single meal. That's going to get them to close to uh, a gallon a day. So um, with that, um, you know, if they're really, really, really strict, um, and they're not, they only have to lose like 15, 20 pounds, and they're like really dedicated, uh, I'd say no Greek yogurt. I'd say no like dairy, nothing. Their snacks are going to be chicken, ground turkey, uh, egg whites, other snacks, you know, and veggies. So just being really strict. And like, like, like this past month, I've been really doing that with clients. They were losing 17 pounds in three weeks, 15 pounds in two weeks. You know, people are just losing weight just like that. And when you consistently do it and you want it bad enough, that, and a lot of these people, you'll see who does, then they'll stick to it just like that. Their cravings will go away. Um, they'll be fine. Um, and with that, as they start losing weight, their metabolism starts to speed up. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm getting all hungry, I'm getting all hungry. Reorder, put them on some snack defense or a palesa or something, or add another shake to it. You know, that'll just curve it, that'll curve it, curve it. And that's getting more volume to you, you know, and they're, they're falling in love with another product. So that's what I do uh, with my clients, and I have them send me a picture uh, for seven to 10 days, you know, seven to 10 days, picture, 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 picture. Because if your client's not getting results, and they're like, man, I haven't lost any pounds. You know, I don't see nothing, no, no, no difference in the pictures. My shake sucks. Those are negative results. Your business is going to go downhill. Those five clients that that person could have brought you, you're not going to get. They're going to talk crap about Herbalife. They're going to close that cancer put on the shelf. Your business is not going to go down. <coughs> and they're going to, they're going to tell everybody. They're going to tell everybody, don't, don't go to Pat. You know, he don't know what he's talking about. Then shakes up. Don't go to LC. You know, she don't know what talking about. <laughs> I pick on you guys all the time. But, uh, but that's what you guys got to kind of focus on. Yeah? We're going to do panel now, so okay. if Pat and Michael, students want to go back up, and then we'll open up for questions, whoever's on the phone and whoever's present to ask questions. Thank you, thank you. Put that on here, just bring it down. Here we go. Bring that. Put that chair up. All right. All right, you guys, if anyone has any questions for them, for the panel on plans, what to eat, snack ideas, meal ideas, weight gain, weight loss, ask them now, whoever's on the phone. What's up, y'all? Who's on the phone? What up? How you doing? I don't know. Yeah, ask us anything. What you want to know? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian? Adrian. Alright, think about it. We're going to come right back to you. Okay. Anybody got questions? 
snack ideas? Snack yeah. ideas? Yeah. For weight loss or weight gain? Weight loss. Weight loss. Snacks with the weight loss or? I mean, we get snacks too. They're just food snacks. Um, string cheese, fruit and veggies, Greek yogurt. I always pair veggies and fruits with the protein, though. So that's a carb. So you got the you need the two to break it down. You always need a carb, carb the carb, fat, and uh, protein. That's the pr the main factors of all uh, of all how your body works. The main nutrients. So you need something of that that will help break down all together, and then tell you the results. You can do like veggie wraps. You can have like tuna salad on uh, you know a lettuce leaf. You know like a lettuce leaf burrito. You can do like Triscuit crackers and a little bit of hummus. I can tell people like you get like make a, make a sandwich and get like some turkey, some good veggies on there, pack it up and cut it in half. They have half that sandwich as your snack too. You know, as long as it's not loaded with mayonnaise and stuff, you know. <laughs> no mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. Greek yogurt. Instead. You can use Greek yogurt, yeah. Uh, huh? Want a sandwich? Yeah, Greek yogurt. Man, we, do all kinds of, we do all kinds of stuff, man. You can make tuna sandwich, tuna, uh, tuna salad sandwich, whatever. You just get tuna, canned tuna, put some Greek yogurt in there, throw some black pepper in there, put some relish, mustard, and onions if you want. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Cleanest, most protein tuna sandwich ever. Put on some thin sliced bread, you're good. Greek yeah. yogurt on that? Yeah. Greek yogurt's like sour cream, kind of, but. You can make it into sour cream. You can make it into sour cream, too, for tacos. Yeah. Hey, you guys can even have a, uh, have a protein drink mix, have a shake. That's a snack. You know what I'm saying? Bed <laughs> mix. Bed yeah. mix. It's like a protein Kool Aid, 15 grams of protein right there. Have that with 10 <coughs> almonds. You're good to go. Just put in water. Yeah. Or you can do yeah. a bed mix. Yeah. It's like yeah, I put bed mix in a Greek yogurt. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, yeah. Eat it with some apples. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take I'll take bed mix and I'll add one scoop of that uh, personal protein powder. Just mm -hmm. to bump up, bump up 20 grams. Mm. Just to bump it up, get my 20 grams. You know. You gotta, you gotta put your yeah. chef hat on, guys. Hello, everybody got Any more questions? Oh, yeah. Everybody in your first How about for uh, weight gain? Snacks on weight gain. Weight gain, there's no snacks. You eat. So, <laughs> you're eating a full meal. It's at least three meals a day. You're gonna have between probably about six ounces of meat. Uh, if you're going to turkey and you have your clients you're like, oh, I'm gonna do turkey today, you better make sure that shit is lean. Like, it better be. 93.7, which is seven, seven grams of fat or less. Because people are doing, I'm doing a turkey burger. You get a patty, that shit, that shit it's it's 25 grams of fat. Yeah, yeah. That's like it's a regular burger. So what's the point? Uh -huh. You know, so you gotta really tell people, because me and Elsie didn't know that. And we looked at it and we're like, damn, we didn't even know this package, Jenny O, was 25 grams of fat. It's like we're having a regular burger. I say for, uh, also it's like the weight gain. <coughs> you can do like, uh, rebuild. Two scoops of rebuild, you may run out fat as <laughs> yeah, you can do like you can do rebuild, and, snack. Yeah. rebuild some egg whites, eat a couple of almonds with it. Some rice cakes. Do a couple of egg whites, uh, make like a scramble, put some spinach in there, throw some onions, right. uh, put it on some thin sliced bread, boom. Or have you guys ever seen like I do a cup of oatmeal? Yeah, you guys don't do a cup of oatmeal. Though. Don't do a cup yeah. of oatmeal right now for most clients because that's, that's, that's too much oatmeal for most people. <laughs> like do a half cup, put it in a pan, else you like should we fry it raw? Like in a pan, and we put egg whites in there. We stir it up. It's like it's like a little bake, little thing treat. So I didn't know what way um, like for protein we like weight loss, the, like the protein. Like this, for me, I was the chicken. I was just breast, breast, uh, breast chicken. But how do you know what how many ounces you you for a protein? And just remember this: one one ounce, one ounce of like chicken is seven grams of protein. Like, that's like how many ounces yeah. do you how many how many ounces do you take? Most people have about four or five ounces for weight loss. Weight gain it goes up. So let's say it's four ounces, weight. four ounces for someone, seven grams of protein per ounce, mm -hmm. that's twenty eight grams. So that's cool. And you, for weight loss you're you're eating what like four times a day? Weight loss? You have your shake, a snack, meal, snack, shake, shake, and then possible protein. So, I mean, protein snack. So you just having like one salt of milk. Basically. Yeah. Okay. So this should be around ranging between like, like, twelve hundred to sixteen hundred calories a day. 
so depending on like girl and guy, whatever and stuff. And they should be fine. You know, most people don't. Most people that like when you do a wellness profile. When I do it, most people are eating about 40, 40 to sixty grams of protein a day, and they need to double that at least. And they're not having enough. And they're having carbs. They're having about one hundred and eighty grams of carbs, and it's too much for the, that person, especially with that amount of protein. So you said what? <coughs> a half a cup of brown rice thing? Is it a half? Half cup. Half cup. Of it. Half cup. Half cup. Yeah. Hmm? You're like this. <laughs> So uh, I still got a question. For weight loss, I have people who want to lose this on the side. Is there like a certain product or a certain exercise I could tell them to do? Prolessa. Prolessa is <laughs> like that. Don't don't be doing uh, the weights like this. The side yeah, holding the weights. Spot training stuff. It's gonna thicken your waist yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna thicken your waist out. Keep telling them he does not listen to me. You do. Yeah, you, do, do you grab some weights. Do you see people doing this at the gym? Their waist <laughs> is gonna go because of muscle. I used to do that, and you told me I used to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Perez. Well, that's dual. Um, earlier we were talking about uh, making sure everyone knows something different, like why we suggest the snacks that we're suggesting, like no white bread, no. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> if it's like a carb and it's white, it's, like, <coughs> it's not good, all right? Like white bread, white rice, white pasta. Just red or white spud potatoes, no bueno. None of that is good for you. Um, it breaks down into a sugar instantly. It breaks down into a sugar instantly. If you're not working out, you're not utilizing that sugar to uh, that carb for energy. It stores it as fat. So if you continue to eat, you know, white rice, all that stuff, unless your metabolism is like through the roof and you're hella like just like super lean or whatever, you know, then uh, that's a different story. But everybody, weight loss. If it's white bread, white rice, no. I am, I put I put my clients on no bread at all. Honestly, that's my thing because it's processed. I don't I don't put it on on a, at all. If they want more results a lot faster, I'm like, don't eat no bread. I'm like, stop, don't eat no bread because there's other added stuff into it. So. But for people who are like obsessed with bread, what would your suggestion be for bread if they? They have to go get a Ezekiel bread. No, I don't even do whole grain nothing because it's still processed. There's yeast, there's sugar in it. Um, I do Ezekiel bread because it's just basic, hardcore bread or whatever. And they're gonna be like, ah, eh. either they're gonna like it or they're gonna be like, I don't want this. <laughs> 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 what do you do for um, mixing pie and stuff? Like, what's yours? They can have, I go. Um, they can have it if they eat clean six days straight. They can have it. They can have a tortilla, but it has to be low carb tortilla. Yeah, I mean, I want my clients to get results. Yeah. Sure. If they fall out, they fall out. But I mean, that's on them. What? For you? Tortillas? No, not me. Uh, yeah. Tortillas. Even the low-fat tortillas, you might be able to get away with. Yeah, they clean all like all week. Too. A really good alternative as well, you guys, is a whole wheat pita bread mm -hmm. or a whole wheat lavash bread. And they have lavash bread at uh, Trader Joe's. It's no, there too. Green. Um, and it's not, it's baked, it's not fried like tortillas, so. It doesn't have um, that many ingredients in it either. Yeah, so lavash bread or um, whole wheat pita bread are really good. Oh, and whole wheat pita bread, you can make pizzas on it too. Healthy pizzas, so it's a nice option. There's also portion control too. People tend to eat like, like three or four tortillas when a serving size might be one or two. So you gotta watch that. Um, like the rice, like people eat hell of rice sometimes. Like, oh, I'm like, they send me a picture of my. How much rice is that? And they're like, oh, no, four cup, <laughs> uh, half a cup. I'm like, that is not a half a cup. <laughs> I was like, you better eat a third of that. Half a pot. Because like, I always, I always teach this, right? If you go like this, this is how big your stomach is. This is how big it is, right? You know, all you're doing is every three hours, it's nutrient timing. You're just refilling it, refilling it, refilling it. It's a gas tank. Every three hours, you need to refill your gas tank for it. Because your body just, it's, it all it wants is nutrients, fat, protein, carbs. That's all it wants. And then, it's just utilizing it. If they eat too much, their metabolism is not as fast. All this, it stores it as, it stores it as fat, and they just get fatter. If they don't eat enough and it's all empty the whole time, the body goes in survival mode, it stores it as fat again, if you don't eat. Uh, what about if they say that three hours is way too long? Three hours is way too long? Then, <coughs> um, anytime between two and three. Like if they're yeah. getting really, like if they're just starving by the second hour. Mm, just eat again, just tell me eat again. Eat protein. 
But that's something. And usually when you get to the point that people start getting real hungry, that's when they start adding lean muscle. Mm -hmm. They start adding a little bit of lean muscle so you can like pick up the protein a little bit and that'll usually shut them up a little bit. Or you can move the move their snacks back like you know half hour or something, like two and a half hours instead of three. And a lot of times like an, I'll add a <laughs> banana in the morning, like with the shake. Like but eat a banana with it. So it's like carb load early. So it'll it'll keep them like a lot better throughout the day. But I tell them I and I say no fruit after like a certain time too. That after was six. So, mm -hmm. As far as, as like what she was saying. Yeah, they're hungry. Yeah. <coughs> I ask questions to figure out exactly what they're doing and when they're doing it, and see if they're drinking water and how much water. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's every two to three hours, so they don't have to wait three hours. Mm -hmm. You can do two hours, two and a half hours. You can't go two hours without eating. It's kind of just like. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're changing your habits. That is, yeah. I mean, you scratched out your stomach pretty big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I was on my accounts. Yeah. Yeah. I just asked a lot of questions to try to figure out what they're doing because they may be doing something wrong. But if I get it enough, I'll just do what Joe does. Like, hey, send me a picture every day, send me do it so I can see exactly when you're eating, what you're eating. Because if you do that, if, like, when you get on plans, you do it for like, the first three days. You do not know, like, you'll be like, wow. People don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They do whatever they want. And it really amazes, like, wow. I wonder what everybody was doing before we fell off. Mm -hmm. you know, like, so I'll take that approach. Yeah. Some people, like, I had a girl, she did uh, two scoops of PDM and one scoop of, uh, one, two scoops of protein, one scoop of healthy. And I was like, I was like, how does, how's the shakes taste? She's like, oh, they're amazing. And I'm like, how are you making it? And this is like day three. She's like, two scoops of uh, protein, one scoop of uh, healthy meal. I was like, oh, maybe you should re reverse it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, she's like, oh, but I read the thing. She's like, I was like, read it again. She's like, oh, my bad. Like, so you never know. Like, and some people, like, like we've got clients, I also had clients that they didn't even know the scooper was in there. So, <laughs> oh, they just like, oh, that looks like it's popular. No, they were like <laughs> using tablespoons or something, right? And they're like, Oh, I can't get the right angle, and you're like, angle of what? Scooping it? <laughs> so. uh, I had a lady call me, she was, from like, uh, she was from Tennessee, and she said her health was sort of don't use a scooper. What? And it's like, don't use a scooper. What yeah, reason was did like, like, you know, what was that? What reason did she give? What'd you say? What, what reason did she give for not using a scooper? Her health was said don't use it. What was the well, reason? Reason. Just reason for that? For telling that. I didn't even get that far. I was just amazed by that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta really, you, you gotta realize that <clears throat> the reason why people are coming to you in the first place is because whatever their own way is, it's not working. Mm -hmm. And it's just a natural thing for people to try to twist and turn things back into their own way. You know, so people will start trying to, you know, make their own little nutrition plans, become their own health coach. But the whole reason why they are coming to you is because it's not working. What they're doing is not working. So make sure they send those pictures. Because how many times, you, you know, have you guys had people go, well, I don't know what's the problem. I don't have this. And then, well, what have you been eating? You know, and they haven't sent me any pictures. And it doesn't really, you, you can't help them. So you got to make sure you gotta tell them, like, look, if you're not going to send me pictures, then I can't help you as a coach. And if you're, if, and, cause basically you, you're, you're, you're at a chance that they could, you know, ruin your reputation yeah. and it has nothing to do with you. They're doing what they want to do, but they're not letting you help them. You have to understand your reputation is on the line. So you have to make sure they cooperate or it's like when you're ready, you can come back. It's like, um, it's one of those things like, hey, you have to be coachable if you want me to coach you. Right. And if they give you the excuse, well, I'm busy, I can't send things like that, I'm always out of that. All right, cool. Well, then, you know, that's. That's on the coach to basically call this person every two days mm -hmm. to see exactly what they're doing and talk to them over the phone and help them tweak it. If somebody doesn't want to be coachable, you can't coach. You know, but yeah, I mean, we can try. You know, but if they give us excuses and they're supposed to send us every meal and only say two meals, and it's like, but I've lost clients before, I'll tell them to take a picture and they say, oh, it's too much, I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's too much, I'm going to stop. So it's kind of like you have to figure out what works best for people. And, um, I had a client before, he was like, oh, bro, because I talked to him the day before, I'm like, you know, start in the morning. He's like, yeah, I got class at 8, I'm going to take the shakes he tabs before I go to class, and after I come back, I'll have my snack. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then he texted me at 9.30, and was like, bro, I'm about to have my shake right now, how do I make it? <coughs> and I'm like, bro, you're supposed to be in class right now. We talked about this, like, he's like, oh, I was tired, I missed it. 
I was like, all right, we well, have your check. He's like, all right, yeah, and I'm running late to work. So I'm going to have a tea. I'm going to have a tea and a tablet I was supposed to take at night when I come back at 6 o'clock. So what are you going to take from 9.30 to 6? And why would you take the tea at night because you missed it in the morning? People create their own plans in their head. They just try to like, all right, I missed the tea in the morning. So I'll just take it at night. I'll still get the same results. And then they be up all night and then they're like, I don't, you know, it's just like, so when you follow up people from day one, that's how you set it straight, you know, set the standard of what it was going to do. So um, do you guys ever tell your clients to not follow the instructions on the canisters? I know. Oh, yeah. I, I'm like, don't look at that. I don't even know what he even says anyway. I don't even know. Because I have clients, I don't hold the bottles to do this, this, and this, because that's what I did. And I didn't know if you guys told your clients ahead of time, don't ever. I tell them, like, don't look at it. Um, look at my instructions. It's way different. Um, I, I created this program uh, for you to lose weight. That's more uh, weight management. For T? They're like, how do I make it? You run your mouth. Some people, I just be like, how do you. How do you make cool it? Mm-hmm. You gotta just you gotta get used to it. You gotta figure out how it works for you. It's not it's no set way. Um, now if they if on a on a nutrition plan I say take tablets, one cellulose. And then you text me and you say, uh, how many cellulose do I take? I'll just say read the nutrition plan. I never really say read the label, I just say read the nutrition plan. Mm-hmm. Or I'll say, Hey, did you read over it? No, I just scan over it. Go over and read it. It's just like disciplining them to do what they're supposed to do. Because we're not babysitters. And your purpose, your purpose as a health coach is to teach them skills that they can use for themselves. It, it, your job is to empower them. You know what I mean? So babying them is not necessarily the same as empowering them. You help them as much as you can, but if they have the opportunity to, to help themselves, that's why you give them the information. You know, there has to be a mixture of you helping them and them, them also doing their part. Because they're playing. Yeah. If they understand it and learn it, they're like, man, this is a little easy. Right? <coughs> you get them the VIP, they're like, oh, man, they start seeing the My Herbal Life. They start seeing the products that they can order. Like, oh. So, you know, and then you teach them how to get 35%. They're like, man, this business is easy. Mm-hmm. You're, you're teaching them. You're training them. Their mindset. You're, you're training them to get results, help others to get results, and um, build the business. The same thing with coaches. Oh, there's SDS. I just look it up online and look at SDS. And you know, excuses, you know, everyone has excuses. Everyone has an excuse for anything they ever quit. And sometimes we get really sensitive, like we don't want to hurt people's feelings by confronting them and about their excuses. But you can ask them, this is a, a great way to, to confront people with their excuses. Say, listen, have your excuses helped you out any way as far as getting your results by buying into them? And they'll say no. And then when they say that, you say, now why would you expect me to buy into those same excuses? You know, why would you want me, why, you, why would you expect me to buy into them? If you just admit that they're not doing you any good, why would I do that as your coach? That's a really nice way of not being offensive towards someone, you know, because people get real sensitive. I got family, I got my job, I got this and I got that. Like, I get it, everyone has something. It's easier, somebody give you all these excuses, it's easier to, be, it's easy to say, all right, look, you got too many excuses, like, you're not going to lose weight this way. It's a big difference in the day. Um, do you really want to lose weight? We got we to gotta get it together then. First of all, like, you're fine. You got too many excuses. Hey, do you really want to really lose weight? Yeah, I really do. Okay. We got to come start with excuses. Man. It's all about the approach you can win, but I always be sure that you just got to find out a way to do it. Any last questions? I will, I will say one thing. When people contact me, when they contact me, and they say that, hey, I want to get a nutrition plan, before I even talk about nutrition with them, I, I tell them, okay, I want you guys to send me three reasons why it's important for you to get healthy. And they'll say, oh, for my family, for my kids, for my whatever. Like, but I say, okay, why your family? What, what value does, your, does being, having more energy to be with your family give to your life? Like I really make them get to those deep reasons before we even talk. And then once I get those, once I you know start seeing, okay, I, I can see they're getting beneath the surface, then I'll contact them <coughs> and talk about nutrition. But that comes down to getting through that excuse part because 
when they identify their reasons for wanting to really, the deep reasons for wanting to be on a nutrition plan, then when they do make excuses, you can go, why are you here? Do you remember why you wanted to do this? Do you remember why you wanted to get more energy so you can be with your kids? Like, do you remember why? And now their excuses disappear. So that's, a big, that's a way for them to connect with their why, deeper than just at the moment. Does that make sense? What do you mean, what do you not be doing? What, with the excuses, or what was it? Well, when you were saying, like, what was it? So, like, for me, um, I just do a lot of things that I feel works best for me, and I think that's what everybody here should do. So, for him, he likes to dig deep with people, figure out why they want to do it, you know, so he figures out their why. But, you know, Mike, he's a deep person, so he that's how he connects with people. For me, um, I'm more so, like, people have a why. This is just my life. Some people have a why. It's like, why do you take your shakes? Oh, I just feel tired. I don't feel like it. And you're like, well, what about your kids? You want to do this for them. It's not like the kids want to die if they don't drink it. <laughs> so they forget about the why. Some people, now some people, they may not. It may <coughs> be. So for me, I'm just more so like, I take the joke pose. If you want to live in a bikini or not. You want to be in a bikini this summer? Because that click more than, oh, do it for your son. Grab right here. When was the last time you took a picture naked? Do you like that picture? Jesus. It's in the N word. Uh, nah, but um, just ask some more questions like that so they click in your head. Cause, but that may work. It's for different people. You have to figure it out. But I more so take the approach of how they feel versus do it for your family. Oh, if you don't drink the shade, guess your family's gonna die. <laughs> They'll do it then, but if it's not really gonna happen, right. then it's not gonna. I don't feel like it's gonna dig deep and be like, oh, whatever. Be quiet. Yeah. You know, so. Well, me, I'm like, yeah, like you said, like a, you know, asshole type of approach, whatever. You know, um, like if they come to a club, I put them on that scale. I'm like, dude, your visceral fat's 15, your body fat's at 50. You want to live forever? <laughs> Well, it's not going to be forever for you because uh, you ain't going to last that long. <laughs> I was like, keep drinking your shakes. Stay on point. It's real. Like, you're going to have a heart attack in like three, four, five years. So I keep it real with them. Or, you know, um, they keep screwing up, right? I, I send them the before picture that they started out with. I'm like, you want to look like this forever? You know, you said you don't want to look like this. So it starts triggering your head. You give them some visualization or whatever. You give them something to see. And then they're like, oh, okay, because a lot of mine my, my are text messages. So I just send it out. I'm like, boom. You know, you were at 50% body fat. We need to get you down to like 20 to be healthy. Your visceral fat is at 15. We need to get you down to, to 7. You know, you want to be around for your kids? Let's Come on. Let's go. Get with it. Start making your shakes. Let's go. Um, or I just send that picture, that first picture. Like, people will like, be like, yeah, man. That's where I started. I'm a little better now, but I want to get even more. You know, I've been messing around the last 30 days. I need to get farther than I was 30 days ago from that picture. So I just sent it to them. And then I'm like, all right, come on, let's go. And then they're like, okay. Next day, they're like, boom, ready. They're on point. And they start sending you pictures, sending you pictures. It's almost like a wake-up call. And it's like nuts. Yeah, and they start going a bit crazy. And you're like, what the hell happened? You know, but you have to find it. It's like you said, finding their why or whatever, that's like a trigger. Not necessarily when you do the wellness profile, it's gonna it's gonna trigger right then because all they care about is give me the product, give me the product, give me the product, give me the program. But you gotta do it like during like the first thirty days. Figure it out. That Find out why. Huh? It has a lot of value. It does. It's just to ask why. Alright guys. <coughs> well, let's give it up to the panel. We won't do the marketing panel call, so you can just thank Adrian. <coughs> thank you, Adrian. Hey, thank you. you. Alright, peace out. What about this? Um, what about the view screen? Um, you can keep the back one. That's just YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be YouTube. You want it? Yeah, yeah. So what's up, y'all? Oh my gosh, my legs. Uh, Whoever's uh, still still watching, we're gonna we're gonna do the marketing plan real quick. I'm just gonna break it down. I know it's kind of a confusing thing. For a lot of people, so we're going to work on that. Yeah, it's going to be real quick. All right, so. All right, so a lot of people want to, you know, want to.
to know just, okay, so what happens? I sign up. How much does it cost to, to, to become an Herbalife member? Well, it's $68. So you pay a one-time fee, $68 to Herbalife. You get a company ID. They send you an awesome business pack with all kinds of information on our company, like on our products, research, everything you need to know. And then you start off with 25% off of everything in the company. You get 25% off. It's pretty amazing. And that's called distributor. You get your own little web page. You can log in, order your own product. It'll say your name on top. Distributor, 25% off. Pretty amazing. And then and you also get 25% profit as well. So what's really cool that is is... You know, down the road, you know, people, someone gives you $100, you get to keep 25 or life will let you keep, keep $25 of that. So you get 25% discount and 25% of the profit. Then if you want to bump up, give yourself a little raise, make a bigger discount and also make more money off each sale, you can just do 500 volume points in one order. So what a volume point is, it's called, it's like an herba, herba dollar. There's 91 countries that Herbalife's in. So there has to be kind of a currency to kind of make to break things <coughs> even through, with all the world, all the countries. So an urban dollar is basically a little bit less than a dollar, but you could just say it's close to a U.S. dollar. So if you do 500 volume, so that's like you getting a couple of your friends on a health plan with you each month. You hit, you hit 500 volume, you'll get bumped up to what's called senior consultant. That's 35%. So you got 35% profit, 35% discount. Now that's pretty nice. But it gets even better than that. So what happens is if you do in three in a in a one to three month period of time, you do twenty five hundred volume points combined, you get to this place called called qualified producer, and basically you're at forty two percent discount <coughs> and forty two percent profit. So basically, someone buys hundred dollars worth of products from you, you get to keep forty two dollars in your pocket. Pretty amazing. But it gets even better than that. So basically, there's there's this next position called supervisor, and this is the place to be, you know? this is This is where everybody wants to be. And the reason why is because it opens up all kinds of different streams of income. So, you know, before you make your money just off the of retail. So, whatever your discount slash profit is, that's how you make your money. But when you're a, a supervisor, you're at 50%, okay? And the cool thing is Herbalife will always pay a distributor 50% of every order, up to 50% of every order. So, so basically, you know, if you're a... If you're a, a, a distributor and you and you have a distributor underneath you, they do an order for 25, they're, they're 25%, then do a $100 order, okay? Well, 25% will go into them, in, into them, but there's also a floating 25% because you've got to make the difference to make 50. So the other 25% will go to the supervisor, which is going to be in your downline. That's if you sign up someone beneath you. If you're at 35%, if you have a person in your downline at 35%, Okay, Herbalife will pay them 35%, but there's, a, there's an additional 15% that's floating around to make 50. So that additional 15% is going to go to the supervisor's pocket. This is what's called wholesale profit. That's called wholesale profit. And then <coughs> if you have a distributor underneath you who's a qualified producer at 42%, well, there's an additional 8% to make 50, and that's also going to go into your pocket. So it's pretty amazing. And then obviously... When you get to a supervisor, well, you already make 50%. So what happens then? How do you get paid? Well, there's this thing called royalties. So when, there's a, so when you're, you have downline under you, they become supervisors. Well, Herbalife's not going to pay 50% anymore of that order. But you get this thing called royalties. So what that is, is, you know, you think of, um, you can think of, I don't know, Michael Jackson or the Beatles. You know, every time the song gets played, you, they make a certain amount of money off of that. Or when you see like sitcoms, you know, I don't know, Charles in Charge. I don't know what <laughs> Charles in Charge is back in the day. So you get 5% of whatever your organization is underneath you up down to three levels deep. So that means if you have a distributor underneath you who became a supervisor, okay, so now was, he's at 50%, so you, you can't get, a, you can't get a, a cut of his 50%. Now you get 5% of everything beneath this person three levels deep. So it's pretty amazing. So how do you become a supervisor? It's pretty, you know, uh, there's three ways to do it. And so the first way is, you know, you can do 4,000 volume in one month. Okay, so that's awesome. You know, you're kicking butt, you're getting all kinds of people healthy. Uh, you know, 4,000 volume in one month. You can also eat your way there, which I think is the best way to do it. That's in, in basically two to 12 months, you do 5,000 volume. So 5,000 volume, you can just pretty much eat your way there, you know, through, in a whole year, you got a whole year. And you'll be at 50%. 
And then another cool way is this, it's called the buddy system. And basically what that means is, so say you, you, you are a distributor, you signed up a person underneath you, and there's say another person underneath them, they signed up. And you guys all want to become two fighters together. Well, all you have to do is, one person has to do their fourth, you know, their 4,000 volume, you can add 1,000 volume to make 5,000 between the two of you. So the person underneath you just needs to do 1,000 volume, and then you both can become supervisors at once. If you want to go down another level, they just need to add 1,000 volume, down, and you can go as far down as you'd like. So each person just has to do a minimum of 1,000. But if you have three people, you don't have to just do like 4,000, 1,000, 1,000. You can do 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. You can split it up as long as each of you have, have a minimum of 1,000 volume. So it's pretty amazing, and it's a great way to get if people see the vision, that people see the you know see the, the possibility for the business, or they're like, man, I could, you know, 50 percent really sounds like it could taste a lot better than my forty two percent or my thirty five percent. This is a great way to do it, and it's not a way it's going to cost you a whole bunch of money as well. So that's pretty much uh, you know the basic part of the marketing plan. It does go up beyond this. It goes it goes beyond this, but supervisor is pretty much where we like to say it, that's where the magic starts. And that's a place where you know get to supervisors as fast as you can, help as many people, use, wear, talk, take your products, tell people about it, get them healthy, and you'll <coughs> I promise you. So hope that was very informative. And uh, you guys have any questions with that? Yeah, that's awesome. Was it better than that? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, guys. Cool. Well.